what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today is Vlogmas Day 12. If you're new here, I'm Maddie. I'm a K-5 STEM teacher and ed tech coach in Los Angeles. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers. Today's video is going to be all about how to make a calendar using Google Sheets. Now this is very much going to be a beginner's tutorial to Google Sheets. So if you're looking for some insight into how you can use Google Sheets in a more complex way, I will be making a video about that in a future date. But today's video is very much a beginner's tutorial on how to create a calendar using Google Sheets. So without further ado, let's get started. So I went to sheets.google.com and I opened up this brand new spreadsheet. And so we're going to start creating our calendar together here. The first thing I want to do is I want to actually create the days of the week. So what I'm going to do across the very top row here is I'm just going to type in Sunday and Monday. And once I actually type in both of these, I can autofill the rest of the days of the week. So to do that, I'll just click on Sunday and then on my keyboard, I'm going to press hold down shift and I'm going to click on Monday. And now you'll see that there is this blue square that appears in the bottom right hand corner of the Monday cell here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click and drag until we get all seven days of the week. And so now I've created the weeks to go along with my calendar. Next, what I want to do is I want to actually create a header, right? So right now on the very top row, I've included the seven days of the week, but actually above that, what I want to do is I want to actually add the month here, right? So we're starting off doing 2021. So I'm going to start off by creating the January calendar. So to add a cell above this top row here, I'm actually going to click on the one on the left hand side. Now, if you're a Mac user, you'll want to control click. If you're a PC user, you can right click and I'm going to insert one row above. So now I've inserted a row above and what I'll do is I'll just resize this to be the size that I'm looking for. I think that's a pretty good thickness and I'll just merge all of these cells together. So I've highlighted A1 through G1 and now I'm going to click this merge button and you'll see that it's now created one gigantic cell that I can put the month and the year in. So for example, I can type in January 2021 and you'll see that it's been added to this gigantic cell. Now, of course, this does not look very good. So I'm going to do a few formatting things to actually make this look a little bit better. So first, I will want to make sure that this is center aligned. And now I'm going to want to make the font bigger. All right, that certainly looks a lot better. I'm gonna do more font and color things later, but just wanna give you guys an idea on how you can visualize what this calendar might look like. All right, next I wanna actually make the cells for the days in the month. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just decide that I think I want my squares to be four cells, uh, four cells big. So to do that, I'll just select the four cells and now I'm gonna click the merge button. And I'll just do that for a couple days here. And now that I've created the cells that I like, I can do the same thing that I did with the Sunday and Monday formatting. I can just highlight both of these by clicking on one of them, then holding down shift and then clicking and now dragging this blue square across. And now I can do that down as well. So I can just kind of do it for however many weeks I think I need. I think that's probably good, but I can always go in and add more later. So of course, when you're creating a calendar, you want to start putting in the, the days as well. So now that we've created these blank cells, I'm going to go in and I'm going to fill the numbers to represent the days. Friday is actually the first. So I'll add the number one here and I'll add a two for Saturday. Next, I'm going to add a three and four to Sunday and Monday. Here's a handy trick. Just like what we did with the, you know, adding the days of the week and adding the uh, big squares to represent the days, I can do the exact same trick to autofill the rest of the days here. So this can just be kind of handy when you are wanting to save yourself some time. Like I said at the beginning of this video, I know that Google Sheets is not a tool that a lot of teachers feel really comfortable using. So I did want to make this a more simple introductory tutorial on how to use Google Sheets. And oh, looks like I'm going to need one more row here. 
Perfect. So now we've created a rough draft of what our January calendar is going to look like. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I, what I love about having a calendar is I also really love having a to-do list on the right hand side. That's something that I always look for when I uh, am purchasing a physical planner. And so I like that you can actually make a to-do list using Google Sheets as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go over here to these three cells and I'm actually gonna merge them and I'm gonna type in to-do list. Again, you guys, I'm gonna make this look pretty at the end, so if you're starting to get bored by the way this looks, don't worry, I am going to show you guys how you can make this look a lot nicer. Um, but I'm just gonna, for right now, center align this text here, and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. All right, and so now we're gonna start creating our to-do list. On the left-hand side, I am going to want to have a bunch of check boxes for the items on your to-do list. So bear with me while we start to create this together. I'm gonna make this cell a little bit smaller so that it just kind of contains the checklist. And the way that I did that was I just click on the top and I of the cell on the right-hand side and I just drag to make it a little bit smaller. So I'll redo that since I did that quickly for all of you. I'm just gonna click here and I'm gonna click and drag and you'll see I've now made that one cell a little bit smaller. Now, the next thing I'll do is I'm gonna combine this because I kind of want it to look more like a square. And I'm also going to do that for the part on the right hand side. You'll see what I'm doing here in a second, but I'm just gonna set this up for you guys. And remember, you can just click and drag. All right, now here in all of these cells that are, they're not perfect squares, but they're close. What I'll do is I'll just highlight all of them. I'm gonna go up to the top here where it says insert, and I'm gonna go down to where it says checkbox. And when I click it, now you'll see that we have a bunch of blank checkboxes here. So I think this is a really handy trick to use in Google Sheets. You can actually check off when you've done items on your to-do list. It's just a really nice way to stay organized digitally. So next, for example, if I wanted to start adding text here, I could. So I could say like, you know, take attendance, grade assignments, etc. I'm going to align this a little bit better here. I wanna be have it be in the middle and I'm gonna make the font a tad bit bigger as well. All right, that looks pretty good. So now I'm gonna show you guys how you can actually make this look nice, right? So right now we have just sort of the bare bones. If this is enough for you, then that's fine. But for me, I like to have things color coded. I like to have them you know, just looking a little bit nicer. So I'm gonna show you how we can actually do that. So the first thing I'm gonna to do to organize is I actually wanna change all of these cells with the days of the week to have the number in the top left-hand corner of the cell. So I'm just gonna highlight all of these cells here and I'm gonna go up here to the horizontal align feature. I'm gonna click on left and then I'm going to change it so that it's at the top. And now you'll see that the number is in the top left-hand corner. For me, this just helps my brain. It feels more organized to me and I like the way it looks a little bit better, but that's just kind of how my brain works. Now for these days of the week, I wanna have these centered as well. So I'm going to highlight all of them and I'm gonna go up here to the alignment and I'm gonna change it to the center aligned. And we've already done that with the January 2021. So now that we've done this, I want to actually change the font. So I'm gonna highlight all the cells here and I'm going to change the font to this railway font. I like this font. It's kind of up to you if you prefer a different font. And while this is already highlighted here, I also wanna add these grid lines so that you can, um, so it actually looks like a calendar where you can see these thick black lines. So to do that, I'm gonna go up here to the borders button. I'll click on it. And now I'm gonna click this all borders button. So now you'll see that these black lines have appeared for the borders. You can change the color if you'd like by clicking this border color button. You can also change the, oops, you can also change the thickness of the line, the border style. So I can click here and I can change the thickness or I can make it a dotted line if I'd like. All right, so I've changed the thickness here, but something that kind of bothers me is that there's no sort of padding at the top or on the left-hand side. So it kind of just looks a little bit strange to me. So I wanna add some little bordering to make this look a little bit better. So to do that, I'm gonna go over to the left-hand side and I'm gonna click on the one. Now I'm gonna control click 
on my Mac or you can right click and I'm going to insert one row above. So now you'll see I've actually inserted a row above my calendar. I can resize this a little bit. And now I'm gonna do the same thing for the left hand side. I'm gonna click on the A and I'm gonna right click or control click and I'll insert one to the left and I can resize. And now you'll see that I have a little bit of a buffer. I think this is already starting to look so much better. Now you'll also notice that I have this gigantic gap between my calendar and my to-do list. So I can also change the size of this column as well. So I'll just click on it and I will drag. And now this is starting to look a little bit better. I'm gonna go ahead and add lines to match the calendar to this to-do list. So I'll just highlight all the cells. I'll go up here to the border button. I'll click on all borders and it looks pretty good. I do wanna go ahead and change the font here to match the one on the left-hand side. This is just me being kind of nitpicky, um, but I'm, I know teachers love their fonts. So I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna change the font to railway so it matches and my calendar is really starting to come together. I'm starting to get really excited about the way it looks. So next I'm gonna start adding some colors. January to me, I think of it being cold weather. So I'm gonna make this cell actually blue. So I'm gonna go up here to the paint bucket tool and I'm going to choose a shade of blue that I like. You can choose a custom color. I'm not gonna do that today, but you can experiment with choosing a custom color. But for now, I'm just gonna click on one of these that I like and I'm going to make the text bold so it really stands out. And I also want it to be white so I can see it a little bit better. And I'm gonna do the same thing for my to-do list. I'm gonna make this bold. I'm gonna go up here to the paint bucket tool. I'm gonna to choose a different shade of blue. And I'll make this one white as well. So now I've created my January 2021 calendar and my to-do list. Before I show you how to use this, I do want to show you how you can actually duplicate this page here so that you can have one for other months in the year. At the bottom of the screen, you'll see that there is a button that says sheet one. Now the sheet that we are on is called sheet one. It's basically like saying page one, but in Google Sheets. To rename this, you can just double click and I'm going to type in 1-2021 and I'll click enter. And now I've renamed this sheet. So I know that this is the January calendar here. To make a copy of this page, you can click on this drop down menu and you can press the button that says duplicate. Now you'll see that I have a copy of 1-2021. I'm going to rename this to be 2-2021 since this is going to be for February. So I'll go back up here to the top and you'll notice when I double click, it actually takes you to this calendar format. This is just a handy thing that uh, Google Sheets does. What I can do is I can just delete the one, type in a two, click enter, and now you'll see that it's changed to say February 2021. Now, all these dates are incorrect now, right? So we, of course, February does not start on the same day as January did. So I'm just gonna delete all these numbers. And I know that February starts on Monday, so I'll just type in a couple numbers. I'll do this click and drag trick. All right, so I've added all the dates in February, and since February is a shorter month than January, I do have this extra, um, extra row at the bottom here that I don't want to include. The way that I can get rid of it is I can just highlight these cells and I can go up to the top and I can just click on borders and click clear borders. And now you'll see that there's only, there's no borders on that bottom row anymore. So now you can just see the weeks that are included in the month of February, 2021. All right, now I wanna change the colors because I want February to be a different color. When I think of February, I think of Valentine's Day. So I'm just gonna change the color here. I might make it um, red and maybe I'll make this to-do list a fun uh, light pink color. Now, you guys can be more creative with the colors than I'm being here. I'm just really showing you bare bones, how to make this look nice, but still be very practical. All right, now that we've created two months, to create the rest of the year, you can just duplicate this page over and over again until you've created your entire year. 
Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to show you how you can use this calendar. I really like that Google Sheets can integrate so easily with the other uh, products in the Google Suite. So for example, if you do your lesson planning in Google Docs, like I do, you can actually link some of these cells to your lesson plans for that day. Or for example, let's say, you know, you know that you want to share a specific YouTube video with your students. You can link that to the different days here. So I'm going to walk you guys through how you might do that. Um, let's say, let's go back to January and let's say on, um, Tuesday, January 5th, I would like to, um, do STEM challenge number four with students. So you'll notice now that I've typed in this text, it actually cuts off. What's nice about Google Sheets is that you can actually make the text wrap around so that it all stays within this little square. So to do that, I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to click this text wrapping button and I'm going to wrap the text around. So now let's say I'm going to just create a new Google Doc here. I'm going to title this STEM challenge num number four just for example. And what I can do is I can grab this URL. I can go back to Google Sheets and I can actually highlight STEM challenge number four and I can click this link button. Or if you're a Mac user, you can press command K and that's actually a keyboard shortcut. I can press the link button and I can paste to the link. And so now what's so awesome is Let's say it's January 5th and I'm like, okay, today I'm doing a STEM challenge with my students. I can just click here and it will open up the Google Doc for me. So this is a really nice way to integrate your lesson plans that you create using Google Docs with your calendar using Google Sheets. If you've watched my previous videos, you know that I'm just a huge fan of linking. So that is a fun handy trick on how you can actually use this calendar to integrate with your lesson plans. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you liked it, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. I post weekly tech tutorials for teachers. If you liked the calendar that I used in today's video, I actually have a copy of it linked in the description down below. So if you just click on the button, then you press the button that says make a copy, you can have your own version for the months of January through June. So thank you again for watching this video and I'll see you back here soon. Bye friends.